Tony, uh, two wins to kick off pre-season and plenty, I guess, for you to get your teeth stuck into. Yeah, there was there was some positives and some negatives. Um, we just asked them to, to work hard, really, and and um, and I think in both games we, we we got that product from them. I think we had to go chasing both games, of course, and uh, maybe we're at our best when we go chasing and really positive and play on the front foot rather than trying to pass it around too much and try and control. It's better when we're chasing. So um, yeah. No, I, I don't moan about it, but you know we, we, we're aware of we need some reinforcements in the striking area, and yet we've scored seven goals and um, in the two games today, and some really good goals as well. So um, yeah, okay. I don't put much stock in it to be honest. I don't. I don't sit in here thinking, "Wow, is next?" I'd, I've had pre-seasons where we haven't won a game, and yet we've won the first three games in the league season when it started, and, and the other way around really as well. When we win every game pre-season and can't win a match when the season kicks off, so um, it's good. What the best thing for me was to see some of the young kids integrate into the groups today. The two teams we tried to split some of the uh, more experienced players, and um, yeah, and we found a way to to win the games which doesn't mean anything but it was good for the supporters to come and see 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 the players again you know it's I'm sure with the ones who who the football club is is a big part of their life it seems like a long time the summer when there's no games and it's great for them to come today and, and big turnouts and, and watch the team and um, so yeah pleased that we could win both games for them but let's not put too much stock in it and uh, you know thank both clubs that we played against today for the hospitality and um, let's look forward to America in another three games. It was a good feeling for the fans to watch the players again. I guess it must have been a good feeling for the players to be back out on the pitch again for you personally. How did it feel to be back out in the dugout again after a few months away? Yeah, um, I don't put too much pressure on myself in pre-season to be honest. I, I fully understand it's about the players getting fit, trying to stay fit, avoid injury and um, but also at the same time, there's no hiding place really. As I said and before every game, you are getting judged in everything you do, every training session, every pre-season game. The ones who bring personality to the game, the ones who want to uh, win every challenge and uh, want to drive the team forward, uh, have got a better chance of starting the season for us. But um, yeah, I, I, I tend not to get off my seat too much in pre-season and, and, and try to drive the team. But um, because we do the the work in the week, they know how we're going to play. We, we they know what the game's about. They know the type of opposition. You know, in these pre-season games, I'm hoping that we most of the time have the ball and trying to break teams down. And um, because if we don't, without you know, we we are short on on front players at the moment. It's um, it's hard to score when you've got you know ten men behind the ball and you're defending all the time. You, we need to try and dominate the ball and get this, the attacking midfield players in and around the box and get the wingers high up in the, in the pitch as well. So uh, we're trying to play positive on the front foot and play in the opposition half. And and today you know we, we scored seven goals in the two games. Just finally, you've already touched on the US trip. Um, all part of an intense schedule for the lads as they prepare for the new season. Yeah, it's, it's you know it's 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 different. It's um, I, I'm not sure of the quality of the games we're going to play. I think that they'll. I'm sure like these games, you're not quite sure. I, I wasn't quite sure how good South Shields and Gateshead were going to be. And yet, if you don't get after them and force the tempo of the game, they can. They're all right. They've all had sort of careers before, probably being let go by professional clubs and. Uh, They've got lots to prove in their own minds, and you know, as you saw in both games, they had some good players. So um, these games in the US, I'm, I'm not sure what's coming, what the standards like from my own watching MLS a little bit. I think they'll be pretty athletic, um, and we've got to find the quality to uh, to give them games and to try and dominate, as I said, and, and um, see if we can win a few matches and keep the confidence high. But you know, I think the challenge is going to be the heat it's, uh, and the, and the travelling, the time differences. and um, But it's all a test. The main positive for me is that the group will be together for 10, 11 days and the new signings will integrate into the group much quicker, being around everybody every minute of the day.